And what's going on, everybody? Remy here from the Rodeo Plays, and welcome back to some more Dagger Romp and Sugar Happy Haddock. The last time we left off, a couple of things happened. Uh, we found out that uh, Chihiro, after Chihiro's death, uh, apparently he left us one last gift in order to keep going in, in hopes of leaving Hope Speak Academy in the form of an AI program by the name of Alter Ego. And uh, Monokuma has also introduced a new incentive to get the murder started in the form of $10 million. So, uh, yeah, expect the murder to happen soon. It's $10 million anybody would kill for that. All right? Well, then, I guess I should... I, ah, I already can't read. Well, then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. All right? Leave this area? Yes. Hey, everybody out. Hina and Sakura are out. All right, let's talk. Let's talk to you guys real quick. I don't talk to characters here. Good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Mm. Wake it up for our breakfast meeting is fine, of course. But getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after waking up is a waking up after working up a sweat is divine. All right. I mean, you know, so, I mean, if that's what you do, that's what you do. All right. Also, I can see that goddamn your legs baby and shit. Holy fuck. Sakura is swole. <sighs> hey, Makoto. Hey, morning, Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yeah, me and Sakura have been doing our morning, our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't take a break during our, I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran, I ran around my room till it ended. Our rooms are pretty small to an extent to do that. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I can keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Ah, seriously? Ah. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Opal. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either, though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so you kind of suck at games then. All right, uh, and nobody down here. Oh, yeah, that way. Also, just kind of seeing that place was gated up. Wonder what that leads to. Um, let's talk to Ifumi. Ah, well, hello. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a great morning. A morning that is blessed by entire future. Really? It feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell. My soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. That was bizarre. I mean, even for him. Okay, well, uh, since there ain't nobody else to greet, uh, let's go get some breakfast. Some breakfast. Could it be? So, the people here today are the same as yesterday. Just us seven. Mm. Baki and Toko are in law, are law's cost, but wow. it looks like Taka decided to stop coming for good, too. <sighs> it's like he's just giving up. <laughs> For people wild as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him feel better. Mm. On another topic, Kyoko did everything go. Kyoko, did everything all go all right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I wanted to check on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either. But Kyoko seemed hesitant. But. <sighs> It's related to the case, so it's related to the case, so I should be blunt. Anyway, I have to make a new rule: using your alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going, someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would have been obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about well, it? that's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, he fooled me? Oh, um. no. It's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. Huh? Huh? Say what? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our what? lips. What? Jeez. What are you talking? Why are you talking like you're all pissed? Like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden. Well, my words can't get themselves together. We ate breakfast in a rush and then headed back to our rooms. All right. What should I do today? Free time. Now, uh, I am going to bring this up now. Uh, the last time we had free time was before Chihiro's trial. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm not going to show the free time because there's really no reason to. That's a lie. I'm showing the damn free time. Reason? Filler episodes, bitch. That's why. Because legitimately, we're like, if I had to be realistic, we're like maybe 
close to halfway through. We're almost close to halfway through this game. I know, right? You would think not really, but we are. We're like almost halfway done this game. So yeah, Day Romp is not a long game. If you count it, here's what I'll say. If you count it by the cases instead of how many hours you put in the game, we're almost halfway done this game. If you count it by the hours you put in this game, not near it. So yeah, leave the area, of course. So who are we gonna hang out with? That's That does not do what I needed to do. Um, I need to actually see everybody's report card to know where I am with people. Uh, uh, let's talk to, did I talk to Kyoko? Uh, let's see. One, two, okay, so I only did it twice, okay. Alright, so, we'll talk to either Kyoko, no, no, we can talk to Hina. Uh, so I would say Kyoko, Hina, or... Maybe Sakura, one of those three. I feel like they got decent skills that I actually would like to pick up. Um, now why they got Sakura's face like that? Sakura got a manly ass face. Uh, all right, so let's find out where everybody is. Yifumi's down there, chilling. Um, who's up here? Not a damn soul. That's who. Uh, second floor. Nobody up here. All right, third floor. You guys are in the physics lab. I don't know, you're in the hallway to the physics lab. You're in the physics lab. Uh, you're in 3B, you're in 3A. You're in the rec, you guys are in the rec room. Actually, where do I stand with Celeste? That would be nice to know. Where do I stand with Celeste? Cause I feel like I have something done with her. Uh, nope, that's a damn lie. Uh, okay boys, uh, I'm gonna pop that map back up and then we are going to, uh, Backwards. Boom. Going to go talk to Hina. Okay, so there's Sakura and here's Hina. Okay. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true you teamwork. Got it. That's a quote from a famous rugby player, Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hmm. Can I hang out with Hina for a while? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna go for a run to relieve some of, some of this stress? Hina and I went for a light run around through the school. Hina and I grew closer to the day. Do you wanna give Hina a present? Uh, yes. Even though I'm pretty sure I don't got shit for her. Uh, since you like either swimming or exercise, uh, can't use these. Those are actual. All right, those are actual items uh, that I can't use. Yeah, you might think you might think it has to do with pets, but it's more related to beds. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, I know who this is for easily. Ancient tour tickets, two tickets to the ab that advertise the whirlwind tour of Mu, the ancient of the ancients for four days and three nights. Small light, bujo bujobu dolls. What is this? Made from the seeds and coconut fiber, they are used in Buddhist prayers. You determine your wish based on how they are positioned. Oh, okay, so I heard about these. To an extent. Oh, what's this? All right, rocks or volcano. Many people use these rocks or... Okay, so I feel like this is you. <laughs> Look, Kyle, it's like you read my mind. Does that mean she liked it? I mean, that cat face says a lot, so I'm assuming, mm. yeah. Oh, man, oh, man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm rubbed up, I gotta let it all out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance that's anyways. Right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. W well, hold on. You always seem to be excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? N no, I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, he was always like, Hina, you're a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Yeah, like, he sees me wearing shorts in the winter, and he says stuff like that. Mm. But if you lose to the code like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Um, I'm gonna disagree with that. When I graduated in January, when I graduated like last January, um, I had to wear slacks in the winter time for my graduation, and I walked out to the Starbucks to go give me something to drink to wake me up for the graduation, and my legs were cold. Yo, shout out to everybody who runs in shorts and people who have office jobs where you're forced to wear, you know, dress uniform throughout the entire year. 
because if you wear slacks in the winter time, you a savage. All right, slacks have like zero weather protection at all, and I couldn't do that. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get you sick. You got it all wrong. Getting sick is for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. Oh, fuck no. He is the type of person to run out ass naked in the winter time. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? Mm. So like, are you the type to get sick easy? Actually, yeah. Mm. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. okay, I got a perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. You strip down to your waist and take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare sc I can sound like it would burn. I call it. I call it a... Uh, huh? What do you call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. Uh, It's not yoga. It's not a bamboo beef. Towel treatment? It's something like towel treatment? You got it! Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. I love going out of my apartment. I love going out of my apartment about or my apartment balcony, stripping down and feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting a good rub down. Wait, so you go to your balcony and strip down? Also, you can take that joke way out of you can take that way out of context. And you're okay with that? <laughs> Just give it a try. If you haven't got your if you have if you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I had to see you catch a cold or something. His reward card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Also, fun fact, it is completely possible to complete this game with under 20 skill points. I did it. I know I did it because I think there's a trophy for a complete... I think there's a trophy for having more than 20 skill points. Um, who's at my door? Sounds like someone's here. Uh... Yo! Yo, that's <laughs> Terrifying, bro. That is terrifying, bro. I would just close the door. I'd be like, as soon as I open the door and see that face, I'm just, nope. Fuck that. You just gonna have to keep ringing that doorbell, G, because I'm not answering. Oh, shit. T Taka? Uh, uh. Bruh. Let's be real. If you seen that face the moment you open the door, you would kick yourself. That is not a face you want to see. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean uh, Alter Ego? Uh, He's still alive? N no, not hmm. quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. T Taka? The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on with him. Hyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. Even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Bruh, this dead ass face, bro. Yo, fuck, Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, Skullface. I don't even think that's a real killer. I think I made that one up. Chucky, um, oh no, Skullface is real. Skullface killer. Uh, fuck all them horror villain killers, bruh. This face at my door? Oh, hell no, I'm uncomfortable. That's a creepypasta face right there. Uh-uh. Leave the area? Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, shit. Um... Damn. Hey, Kyoko. Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you didn't drag him around. It's probably best if you didn't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko, okay, look at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall, the warehouse is Correct. or something. Well then, I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt. But maybe it's just my imagination. Fuck that. You know it was doubt. With Hiyoko, it ain't nothing. I said Hiyoko. Uh, with Hiyoko, there ain't nothing but doubt. If she if she knows you're lying, she's not going to call you on her. Hey, Jill. Is that Toko? What? what, what? Hmm? what are you two up to? Uh, I tell you, you're going to. You're going to. Mm, yes, yes. Have his lost brother taken. Taka is right for the taking. So Makoto swoops in and steals him away. <laughs> Am I on fire? I severely regretted talking to Genocide Jack, even if it was by accident. You SOB! But that doesn't mean... But that doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Bakia? Huh? N no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, good heavens! My love is pushed to the limit. 
I almost felt bad for him. Almost, as in not really. <laughs> like, fuck you, Bakia, since you want to play with people's bodies. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter uh, Ego. Uh, How do I talk to him? Uh, oh, um, well, just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me too? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from, the, from his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make mm. the sound. Please. Uh, uh, okay. I thought the question exactly as Taka had asked him. And then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey. And when I ask you those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, the only conclusion I came uh. to Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was Stop fucking around. Well, <laughs> Alter Ego can be anybody's alter ego. Okay, this shit switching up like it's a persona game, got it. You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yo. A man's only worth as much as a man's only worth as much as the load he carries. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Mm. That's so. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taco was desperate, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to Yo. him. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just waiting for, just wait for things to get better. Take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what do I say in some kind of condescending tone? Ah. Uh, uh, Taka. Ah. Uh, uh, it's starting to sink in. The buck, the way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dried sponge. Huh? Those words, deep in my heart, they're inside of me. Oh shit, he's going Ultra Instinct, boys! T Taka? Who the fuck is Taka? Your eyes. F you. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess, guess I call, guess I caused a lot of, guess I caused a scene, huh? Shoot, man. Your yeah. voice. I'm... A new me. I totally, I'm totally stuck with fighting spirit now. You dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm. And don't call me Taka. That's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let out a bone chilling howl and ran out the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. And I took off after him, but someone stood in my way. God damn it! I. Yeah, that's... You know those moments where you sit there and you're like, you're not surprised that some shit happened? This is one of those moments. <laughs> like, it's like, you knew this was going to happen, you just kind of hoped it didn't. As if tagging Taka out, as if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the just dressing room. Just a second. Room. What do you think you're doing? K Kyoko? Oh, um, no, see, this is Enough just... already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. S sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Uh, okay. Mm. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. Well, that's a that's a way to make me feel guilty. <laughs> but still, what was what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. Can we just say that this man, can we just say this man beat his depression so hard that he literally re-dyed his hair the opposite color? <laughs> can we talk about that? Like, 
Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As mm -hmm. such, it is officially nighttime. Soon right. the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. It's night time already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out what talk is whole thing. For now, time to sleep. I wouldn't be surprised if if I walk outside tomorrow and Kyoko just kick this man in the side of his head. Yeah, um, I don't care about the Monokuma Theater. I'll do everything else, but Monokuma Theater don't really do much for me. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Alright, I need to hurry and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. I have the strangest feeling they already know. Alright, boys. I should probably not whistle because the range of my mic is high and I'm close to it. It'll probably fuck it up. You know? Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone hmm. else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead? To where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath? You should have caught on so fast. No! <laughs> Someone help! You feel me? What's going on? Akano, save me! I never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! W what happened? <laughs> She's trying to kill me! You feel me pointing at... Yo, I would, but she, 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 I'm already on a bad list with her right now, so... Nah, you, you got this one, Chief. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you. Hey, you on your own for that one. Had it been anybody else besides Sakura... But had it been anybody else besides Sakura and Kyoko, I'd give you some sort of support and be like, yo, what's going on? Maybe it's not worth it. But Kyoko's trying to kill you? Nigga, you on your own. Nigga, <laughs> you on your fucking own, nigga. All right. Uh, I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I have to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He stuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hiding the laptop, breathing strangely. Huh? Ugh, ugh, Kyoko, I'm kind of glad you're wearing gloves. You know this nigga nutted on that laptop. <laughs> 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 ah, this nigga tried to put a bit of himself in that program, and if you catch my drift. What, what were you doing? <sighs> I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work, listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. No! Please don't kill me. Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Really instruct How you. Very sad. Oh man. Um. Wow. What? I just, I just want to hear him explain himself. Bruh. What did you do? Um. You fool me. Could you tell me what happened? Well, well, I was just, I was just talking. However, which was prohibited, was it not? Like, <laughs> uh, you see, talking to her was just so much fun, and I just. Uh, um. Whoa. Okay. Time out. I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but you fool me. You're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that cold blood and that cold blood killing machine from the other world. Would ever, fa would ever fall in love? That's... Well, Wait, it no. would seem... Is, is this love? According to the spirits... I happened, to do, I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once, and the guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? In your eyes just now, I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing! Shut up! She's not a mannequin, she's an angel! I feel as if... And don't bother telling me angels exist. And don't bother telling me angels exist when we have to, 
Well, well we have, huh? Well, we have can't even define your petty words. <sighs> yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so, how did things end up like this? Yeah. Go ahead and tell everybody how you tried to fuck a laptop yesterday. <laughs> Listen, I've heard stories, okay? Mainly because I, I watch too many Reddit stories on YouTube early in the morning when I wake up, but I've heard stories of guys fucking some weird shit. Some people fuck toilet paper rolls, some people make their own some people make their own fleshlight. Some people even go on their way to fuck things like mac and cheese. Okay, I've heard some weird ass stories. But I never once looked at my laptop and thought to myself, damn. I'm trying to put my USB drive in that motherfucker. Yeah. No. I've never thought that. <laughs> That's that weird shit. I mean, granted, everything else I just said was weird, but fuck me, man. This is the weirdest of the weird. This is the cream of the crop, baby. <laughs> well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. There it is. <laughs> Enough said. But then I was poking her around in her settings and saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I was able to, I was ever able to talk to, the, I was able to, ah, uh, I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. Uh, She's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even, even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, you fool me. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you can teach me. I suppose. It's the first time a girl ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Oh, damn. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you, too? It's kind of amazing by itself. <laughs> Yo, you know you know how weird of a conversation to be like, hey, be like, hey, ma. Be like, hey, ma. Ma. I fuck with these 2D women, ma. <laughs> she, my mom gonna look at me and be like, if you don't download Tinder on your motherfucking phone right now, like, like, I don't, like, yeah, he's right. It's kind of a, amazing that your mother is cool with that. I mean, granted, it's do what like... you do to live your life, but fuck, man. That's why I was just so happy. I was, it was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. You do realize that she is a he, right? I thought we made this clear. Alter Ego is... Alter Ego is basically another version of Chihiro, and Chihiro was a guy dressed as a girl. That's a he. <laughs> I mean, no judging, but we should probably get that out there. Well... Even a keyboard? <sighs> I think you misunderstand the situation, he Are me. you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. He was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course, it wanted to hear things that it did not know. You are an expert in many things Kahiro could not have taught, can I have thought about for what it's for what it is worth. Honestly, Alter Ego wants the information. That is all. I know that. I know. I mean, I do know that, but still, are you saying it's totally hopeless? You gotta be. You. you gotta be freaking kidding me! Hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever. Yo! Oh, Taka, are you back? Yeah. Who the hell is Taka? Huh? Um, you? Yeah. Listen up. I'm me, got it? What the heck? Huh? You're who? What? Don't bullcrap me. Is it an obvious? I find it so weird that you're trying this blend of Mondo and Taka. Like, you're trying to keep this moral stance, but you're also trying to keep the, the, um, the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a, it's a specific word I'm looking for when it comes to, like, talking. Not flow, but, uh, style. That's what it is. It's strange how you're trying to keep the moral compass of Taka, but the style of communication of Mondo together. Because it creates weird blends like this, like, bull crap. I'm Kiyotaka and Mado. So like Kiyoda Kiyondo, I get nope. Yeah! I'm gonna stick a banana up your tongue. Whoa! Okay, can you not sodomize me with fucking fruit, please? What? What, what the What that kind of a fusion is what? that? What happened to you, Taka? 
actually. I told everyone what happened the day before. Well then. So because of what Alter Ego said um. to him. Are you sure Alter Ego's at fault? Every mom knows ghosts showed up and possessed him. Uh -huh. Ghosts? No, there's no such thing. Yeah. What the heck are you whining about? Come on. What? God, you're really cheesing me off. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't work. Because you you still got too much of that moral compass to to jump the to jump to that style of communication. It's like it don't work. Hey, he, hey, he fooled me. What? Yes. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but F you. Bro belongs to me. Huh? huh? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave you my soul back. <laughs> and I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again, fucking idiot. See, that's a prime example of that. It's like PG-13 cuss words. It's like, what the hell is that? Just, just say fuck. It's not that hard. Just say fuck. It's not that hard. <laughs> I'm, af I'm afraid I can't allow that. He'll fuck you up. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right That's now. That's it. I'm Destiny sure of it. Destiny has bound me and her together in a Gordian knot of true love. <laughs> well, me and him have been melded together with the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> Mon, talk down to me and I'll ramp my fist into all four of your vital points. Completely unforgivable. Well, I can just a sound. And I don't have any arm hair, so there's no trick. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Shihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares to disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> like, wait a minute. We were talking about fucking each other up. You bring Sakura into this. Ooh, um, not a high enough level to deal with that shit. Anyway. Until Alter Eagle finishes his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I suppose. Yes. Yeah. G got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's going to be okay to let them off with a warning? Sakura will punch both of you in the ch Sakura's the type of person to punch you in the chest so hard your heart just flies out the other side. Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Fumi and Taka leave dejected, leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. What should I do for the rest of my day? Three time! All right, uh, we are more than likely going to kick it with Kyoko this time uh, because we can, because I want a new skill. Uh, so Kyoko, where you at? Uh, you fool me. I kind of don't want to talk to you since you like fucking laptops. <laughs> ah, he fool me like fucking laptops. That shit crazy. <laughs> he fool me on that weird shit. This nigga fucks laptops. <laughs> All right. Well, Kyoko's not in here. I'm assuming the back room. I see Kyoko. Kyoko, damn it. I'm thinking of Dang and Rampa too. I've been playing a lot of that shit recently. Oh, not in here neither. Okay, so I've been lied to. This is amazing. This is the lie to end all lies. You told me, you told me Kyoko was in here. Where the fuck is she? Why are you playing hide and seek, bitch? <laughs> Come here. <sighs> What's the matter? Are you keeping an eye on me? I couldn't get an eye on you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill anyone. Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Also, that's not a good thing to say. That's like saying, that's like a girl telling me, "Don't worry, when you fall asleep, I'm definitely not gonna steal both your kidneys." Well, that just it's sets true. off so many red flags. <laughs> I was just about to head to the dining hall to get something to drink. <laughs> Do you want to come with me? I went to the dining hall. I drank some tea with Kyoko. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. You like to give her a present? Uh, sure. But Kyoko's kind of weird to an extent. Uh, what's this? A brand named Dime, a brand named Diamond popularly used in engagement rings, although this one is just an imitation. Well, damn, that one just must hurt. Uh, leaf coverings. Uh, leaf covering. Okay. Nope. Nope. 
Uh, shit. I don't know what the fuck she wants. This shit's gonna be a man. Huh. Zetetsuken. A sword that, can, that can't even cut through iron or flesh or anything, really. In other words, it's useless. Which is crazy, because if you actually look up the meaning to that, it's the iron cut. I think it's the iron cutting blade. Also, I remember about that because I was playing uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and one of the skills you could get for Terra is that skill. Um, shit, you are interesting, because I don't know what the fuck to give you. Pagan Answer, a mature game designed for a fun plane, which allows you to become a massive god, handing out divine punishment to puny mortals. Good luck finding a copy. Uh, I guess this. Correct. Okay. I didn't know. I took a yes. Kyoko is difficult for me. Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay? How do you stay so? That's a fuck up. <laughs> I just see that. It's Kyoko's name as if she's talking, but it's like Kyoko's asking herself a question. This bitch crazy. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. Mm -hmm. You said it like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. N no, I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show my face or I don't show it in my face or my voice. You make that sound so you make that sound way easier than it is, especially in these kinds. That's of what we have to do. Well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. She keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Is there anything I can say to get a reaction out of her? In other words... Protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotion. And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you Correct. around. Remember that. That's why you hide your own feelings. But... but that's such a waste. What? Hmm? Your smile is just so cute. Hiding it beneath that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. That's... What are you talking about? What? Cute. It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. Ah, looks like, I got you, looks like I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? What? You... Makoto, you... It can't be. You, you deceived me? Huh? Wait. Why? I don't believe this. You used the word cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. Sorry, I just got carried away. But still, I did deceive you. But still, I did deceive you. But... It's not like it was a total <gasps> lie. You see how easily... You see how easily you yourself are deceived? Huh? Hey. You would have never just come out and called somebody cute like that. Completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy? What? You mean... I thought I tricked you, but I was only getting tricked? Damn, you'd have flipped your own script on you. This shit crazy. <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest. You're honest. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent. Yeah, um, kind of sucks when your script is flipped back on you. Kyoko's robot card has been updated with your experience with her. You unlock the skill, Neural Liberation. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Honestly, I think I should have gotten that skill way earlier. I forgot what it does. Uh, and I forgot if I can look at skills beforehand to see what it does, what they do. Still have some time. But I have wasted time sitting around here. I should go look around. Uh, before we do, I'm gonna see if I can actually see what that skill does. That's regulations. Report card. Mm. All right. Nope. Sure shit can. That sucks. All right. So I think now maybe I. I don't know how I'm gonna hang out with. Not, damn, everybody down here. All right. So we got you fool me. Uh, we got. You. You, uh, damn, I forgot your name that fast, Celeste. Um, Hina, Sakura, Kyoko, and Toko. Uh, alright, uh, you know what? Uh, did I ever do Bakia? That's a good question. I feel like, and one, I feel like you have an answer to it. Nope. Well, uh, let's go annoy Bakia real quick. Leave this area? Of course. Wait, where the fuck is Bakia again? I know he's nearby. Uh, he is... In his room. Okay. Bakia, I'm coming to annoy you. Ooh, I should annoy Toke. I should annoy Genocide Kyoga. 
So, how about this number? It's a fucking troll. Is it really a good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack? Yes, it is. Fuck Bakia. You got Genocide Jack is hilarious. Huh? Hey, if you don't mind hanging out with a serial killer, I don't mind hanging out with a chump. Damn, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Okay, look, I may be a chump, but I don't kill people, damn it. That's fucked up. She kind of make being a serial killer not seem as bad as being a chump. Guess like Jack and I, um, killed some time together. <laughs> Murder the shit. Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So does that mean that... <laughs> wait, I gotta find this out. Does that mean that Genocide Jack... Then you can get uh, different skills for both Genocide Jack and Toko since they're two, technically two separate people? Because that's the case. That's amazing. I mean, it's a fun way of doing that. Uh, someone's graduation. Uh, water flute. Uh, ticket, da da da. Custom green costume. Yeah, okay, so we too far down. Uh, let's go with. Let's go with this. What the? You sure? I'll be happy to take it off your hands. I didn't think she liked it. Oh, nope. Did not reach my expectations. God damn it. That hurts. That cuts deep. Oh, 10 p.m. As such. It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Night time already? I guess I'll just go to bed for today. All right. Now, I think today's the day when the story progresses. I could be wrong on that, but if I remember, I think it's every third day the story continues on. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I better get to the dining hall. <clears throat> now, like I said, uh, take my words with a grain of salt because I could easily be wrong. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the story can continue. Um, but at the same time, it might not. So, it just depends. Oh! Taka and Kyogo are not here today. You know? Kyogo's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? Her rival's in love. Her rival's in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that... That virgin. I might kick his virginity. Fucking a... Fucking a laptop does not count. <laughs> but... Nah, my guess is you're already infected. <laughs> oh god. Wait, can you really catch oh god? I don't know what's worse here. He fool he fooled me trying to claim he 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 might catch somebody's virginity or he is asking if you can catch that shit. I mean if you're already fooled me, you catching that shit like Odell with footballs, but uh yeah. <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. As soon as my hands approach my food. <laughs> Oh, shit got real. Ooh. Huh? That voice. The doors, to the, high, the doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> oh, breakfast is about to get interesting. So in the end. So it's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. I'm wearing red lingerie today. Baki, you hit that? That good. I ain't, I ain't mad, but I ain't too pleased by the situation neither. You, Baki, you hit that nigga. You hit that. Huh? <laughs> My nigga Baki hit that. Say less. <laughs> um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a second, you. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Have you huh? reached that certain what's age? Top, what's your top power level like? 32, 35, 22, 33? 
you start on, you start on, you start out big on top. You start out big on top to try to look more thinner down south. You SOB! Like your melons. They're seriously, they're seriously gargantuan. Do you drink, a, do you dunk them in milk every night or something? <laughs> Jude has no fucks to give. Oh. You're starting to freak no out. No forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hida, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> so, what do you want? Surely you're not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I can't wear a story. He is not denying the fact he hit that. Yo, let's talk about this. My man Bakia Togami hit that. And he ain't even denying it. He's like, it should be pretty obvious why we came here together. And she hit him with the, I'm wearing red, I'm wearing red lingerie. My nigga Bakia hit that. My nigga was like, fuck this. If I'm trapped here forever, some vagina is better than no vagina. I mean, personally, I feel like there was other choices, but hey, man, I don't judge your taste. Unless you all hit fucking laptops. He fooled me. <laughs> A story. A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you, talk, are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? Mm. Because of certain circumstances. <sighs> up until now, you haven't given a crap. Up until now, you haven't given a crap about anything. And now you're all concerned? I don't buy it's it. It's all clear now. I just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the boat. Yes. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But this isn't a democracy. Or would you exclude those who don't fit your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. I saw him yesterday. I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. His spirit collapsed for something. Was he ever able to withstand this environment? Those men who close... Those men who cloth themselves in cheap fabric of justice are also the first to fall. <laughs> or perhaps this will make things more interesting. Interesting? Such ignorance. Let me leave you a bit of advice. Don't come to don't come to rely on, on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? To give us the amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I'm not welcome here. I'll grant your desire and remove mm, myself. Yes, yes. Yeah, let's get out of Stop here. talking. And you don't need to come yep. with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard. You don't have to play hard to get master. You can just play hard. <laughs> I mean, he's not denying the fact he hit that, so. <laughs> hmm. That doesn't make any sense. No fucking don't. Fuck, <laughs> started to slowly back out the room. He started picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out the dining hall. <laughs> What, 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 what? He ran away? So now he's just running hard. He's just running hard to get. I see. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yo, we gotta make it clear that my nigga Baki hit that. We really gotta make that clear, because he didn't deny it. Um. So, at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um. Just now, Baki was like... Um. Maybe, maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Mm. Guess so. Those of us left at the dining hall, finished our breakfast, and went back to our rooms. Oh, nope. Story does I'm assuming story doesn't advance today. Hmm. What to do today? Yep, story don't advance today. Alright, so I think we're going to do this last bit of free time, and then uh, tonight I'll end the episode. Uh, depends on what happens. Blue the area? Yeah. Uh, we'll figure out what to do later on. Um, let's see. Map? Who's around? You feel me? The laptop fucker? Uh, okay. We got Kyoko, the person who's, who might be in the mood to beat my ass. Um, I kind of want to just close out Hiyoko's story, because we're close to doing that. I guess I might as... I mean, I might as well. Because I already got the skill. I just need to finish her out. Uh, it was in the laundry room, right? Is she in here? Yep. Right. Why? Who set all this up? And why did they choose us? There's so many mysteries. Hmm. Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Spend time with Kyoko. Wow. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. Understandable. 
I joined Kyoko while she's. I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't. We didn't say anything to each other. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? If you played Persona Five, um, um, spoilers. If you haven't played Persona Five yet, or waiting for Persona Five: The Royal to come out, uh, you got a long ass wait time unless you're getting it from Japan. But uh. That one moment where uh, it's revealed um, that Akechi is working against you guys and the Fan of Thieves, you and the Fan of Thieves, and it's like, and he's like, I'm gonna kill you all. And then the game is just like, I feel like I understand Akechi a little bit better now. You're coughing our ranges, jump. That's this right now. Just, we didn't say shit to each other the entire time she was walking around the school. We grew a little closer today. <laughs> Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Sure. Why not? I don't care. Uh. Let's, let's try this. Correct. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Can we finish this already? Huh? Finish? So... If we truly want to trust each other, we must truly know each other. That's what you believe, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Hey. I understand why you feel that way, but... When it comes to me, I think you should probably give up. What? Why? So... Because I don't have anything to talk about. I don't have anything to talk to you about. Does that mean you don't trust me? If you get too involved with someone, you're apt to lose any sense of good judgment. That's what we have to do. I learned that lesson myself all too well. Personal experience is a ruthless teacher. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Personal experience? Hey. Surely by now you notice, well, you notice what I always wear. Something unique to me. What is it that Kyoko always wear? Uh, gloves, because she doesn't have ribbon and she don't have glasses. It's those gloves, Indeed. right? Indeed. That's right. Why did you bring them up? Does that have something to do with getting involved, like you mentioned? So. Simply put, there was a time. There was a time where I grew too close. Where I grew too attached to someone, and I made a bad decision. I was forced to learn a powerful lesson, and these gloves are a daily reminder of that. So, on these gloves, I swore to never make the same mistake again. Sorry, but I'm not sure I completely understand. Can you tell me more about it? Maybe then I can... However... I'm sorry, but I can't. That's the end of it. The end? So then, I never got I never got to learn anything about her. About how she feels. Anyways, don't get too depressed over all of this. The reason I'm not wanting to talk about it isn't because I don't trust you. In fact, I do have faith in you. Which is why I decided to tell you what I Correct. have. I want you to understand why I can't tell you. I can't show you I can't show you myself just because I can't show you myself just like I can I can't show you myself just like I can't show you what's beneath these gloves. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. That long. Indeed. That's right. And I can't imagine a point where I would show them ever again. Only someone I could call family could be worthy. Family. Listen. Are you going to volunteer? Huh? Mm hmm? Got you again. <laughs> you really are foolishly open. She did give me again. And laughed at me again. But I never really heard her laugh out loud like that. I think she must I think that must be her natural laugh. Is that right? That wasn't fake. So maybe in the end she did show me some part of herself. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. <sighs> I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but to be honest, I hope you don't change. I prefer you this way. <laughs> this is you. In the end, I never really did figure her out, but at least I got a little bit closer. Kyoko's robot card has been updated based on your personal experience. Your maximum number of skill points has decreased. All right. Okay, so. Kyoko, I kind of want to know what's up with your hands now. Like, what's going on with your hands? All right. She, five dollars say under them gloves. She got them Doctor Strange hands. Them, them mangled ass fingers. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I think I want to let's go hang out with Hina. Let's hang out with. Uh, actually, do I want to hang out with Hina? Come up closer to Kyoko. It's finished. I'm closer to finishing Kyoko's story. I think everybody's story has like six parts to it. Let's just do Kyoko and see where this goes. Think you need something from me? Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yeah. So. 
I suppose a change of pace is necessary That's sometimes. Fine. fine then. Why don't we take a little break? I spent some time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. You like to get Kyoko a present? Sure, why not? Uh, let's go with... Oh, we got shears. And we got layering shears. Oh, we got scissors, huh? Um, where is it? Oh, no. Nope. Hmm. Uh, let's go with this. What? How did you know I was interested in this? <laughs> You're an enigma, Makoto Naegi. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Okay, well, I guess that was the end of her story. Say less, fam. Huh? There's something by the door. This piece of paper. Looks like someone must have slipped out of my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly? Who wrote it? And what's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out. See, it doesn't be in a situation where you keep, like, a weapon that you can conceal on your person on you. Because I don't want to get snuck up on. Like, they'd be like, meet in the dining hall, you go in there, and they beat your ass to death. Like, nope. You gotta keep, like, you gotta keep that uh, weapon on you for security reasons. Yo! Oh, Makoto. Hero. The letter I found on my own? Yep, I wrote it. The handwriting is really hmm. nice. Well, I was always taught that if you have bad penmanship, the ghost would come and haunt you. My handwriting ain't the best, but it ain't the worst either, and, uh, yeah. Who taught you that? And, why did you want to meet hmm. me? Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Damn, just <laughs> give up the mastermind that quick, huh? Kyoko? Actually. I'm just an boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say about a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. N no, I... Totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder and pulled me closer and whispered in my We're ear. Serious. It's all on that so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. I'm more upset that Makoto didn't get that. This is the second time the word bath has been used. Wait a minute, does that mean you've been No, no no no. You had to know because when Celeste brought it up in the last episode, you was like, I bet she pulled that out her ass in life. And then it was used again by uh, somebody else. And it was used now. You had to know that. So it's not like you forgot. Alright. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, hero. Let's go take a dip. I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Damn, you don't know how to play shit off? Shit crazy. I don't like this fake ass Super Saiyan dude sitting here. So I got to the dressing room and angry boy shuffled out. F you! Hey, how long are you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he started pointing his, at his wristwatch. Yeah! It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for, bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. I'm gonna kick this motherfucker in his teeth. <laughs> T Shut up! What? What did you say? You want to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka, you seem to be even worse. You seem to be even worse off than I heard. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. Yeah! What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? <laughs> what the heck? Mega, like you have no right to speak to our heaven sent master. There's a problem with uh, thinking of people like that, but uh, hey, I'll let you live your oh. life. Oh, are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Sh shut up. Hey, come on. Well, every well, anyway, everyone's here, right? And my messenger duty is complete. Hey! You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kilko? So, what are we doing How here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? I got... It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, That's right? That's right! Yeah, totally! Did he... Did he find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? It's gone. Gone? I came here a little... I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh, um... Huh? What? She's gone! F you! You can't be fucking serious! What did you do to him? Mm. 
Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told it all to Ego. If anyone he didn't recognize appeared, if the master... Wait, what? Wait, I read, I read that wrong. Oh, to yell. Okay. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just... Maybe he, we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next door. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But that wasn't the mastermind then. <laughs> the solution is practically a mystery. The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could have only been him. Without a doubt. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't what? you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. Mm. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you. You're the suspicious one here. You're the one a big jiggling sack of things. <laughs> Show some shoe now. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations, but big shoe ain't Frieza. Damnation! Wait! I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Yeah. Rock, it's you. You're serious? Well, I'm sure it's one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego, yell if if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing what? room. What? Ooh. It was a countermeasure against the clear gang girl of one of them that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't but... them. Then who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, and quite simply... It was someone else. <laughs> Interesting. Okoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? <laughs> How about this for a reason? <laughs> there is a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working with a mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny that possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. What? Why do you not? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Say what? I don't care! <laughs> I don't it's... care who! Someone, anyone save her! Please rescue her! I'm begging you! I just want to see her smiling face again! Damn it! Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I beg. I'll scout. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just give him back! So, um... That's pretty messed up, but still, I think I could... I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely safe, still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they, would have t they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right I here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for them. Something else? Damn it! It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing... Nothing else matters. <laughs> nothing matters. No matter what it takes, I'm going to get them back. That's my promise as a man. I swear, I will save her! Okay, well then. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. It's nighttime. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Yeah! There's a crap about effective. We're talking about our feelings. We're talking about our feelings. Calm here. down. And then we do it at night brings a higher chance of, master of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. We run around tonight in a panic. The mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. 
Taka, you feel me? I know how you feel right now, but it's best if just for tonight you try to endure it. <laughs> this is fine. Okay then, let us part for today. We'll begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> and should you think about what I said, so I may very well be spying for the mastermind. Alter Ego. Alter Ego. Gone as quickly as he appeared. He finally discovered some small measure of hope. And even then, that was taken from us. And we can't even put up a fight. We were given hope. And then, when that hope was taken away, despair. Just like, it's just like, just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? That's true. No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I yelled. I didn't even realize I yelled that out so loud. It would be so hilarious if these rooms weren't soundproof and whoever was next to Makoto was like, Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you just hear that shit in the distance. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're all starting to doubt each other again. It scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into the bed trying to shake off those unsettling thoughts. But for long, I fell into a restless sleep. Like I said, you guys already know how I feel about Monokuma Theater. I don't really care for them. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. I found myself surprisingly, I found myself at surprisingly high.